right, guys, we're back. Take it away, Eric. Hey, everybody. All right, welcome back to the second part here of episode two of Dogs of Duskfall. Uh, we just had an intense uh, negotiation amongst our own crew about the future of our crew and what we're going to be doing and signing up in the middle of Rorik's roar. War, roar, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> words. What are even words? Uh, so, panic. Yes. Um, you had a play. Okay, yeah. So, um, sort of, I think, out of character. But I, actually, we can, we can do this in character because I know that we want to do a score tonight or at least start one. And do it. <clears throat> I don't know um, when Fox and Coomer want to talk, but I want to make sure they do that. But here's the thing. As I come to everybody and say, okay, we've decided what we need to do. We're all agreed, except for the one part, which Fox are going to take care of. Here's what I see as our opportunity to make this potentially happen in one fell swoop. Tomorrow morning, we're going to, well, it's today, we're going to get set up. We're going to talk to Lutz. Tomorrow morning, we're going to go back to Lutz's bar, which is home turf for us, with Lutz and our gang, pre-hidden in the location, because they didn't even check. They didn't do anything. They just walked right in there, and that's where we're going to meet again. We go in there, we set an ambush. We play it exactly like it's supposed to go down. We thought it over. We agree. We get the guns. We check the guns because that's what we would do. We're smart. We're not just going to be like, oh, yeah, thanks for the guns, and then they don't work. We're going to check them right there. And at the moment that we see the void, it's like we're getting ready to split ways, and they're going to take the answers back to the crows. All of them, gone. And then we go to the crows and we say, hey, we told them yes. They used it as an opportunity try to take us out because they saw us as a threat and we think that they were going to tell you that we said no but we managed to kill them before they killed us but we're on board here's your guns here's all the stuff let's fight a war and then it's all done Lily then you get to stab as many people as you fucking want <laughs> okay a very wide grin like oh, he's wearing the beak mask so you wouldn't see it right but there's like a really wide grin beneath it says I like the way that you think we need to make sure that no one survives exactly. if only one of them just one gets away our play is a failure exactly but it's on our home turf we're gonna bring our thugs our crew Rufus is healed up he's ready to go I know, I know Fox wants to get the drop on some of these guys Fox is just sitting there like she's humming. Just yeah, she's just thrumming. very excited. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Yeah. Uh Co Co Coomer, I know I know we you we had a little bit of a thing about the blue coats. That's not part of this. I need you to be on board. But tell me if you're not. Wait, so are you here? Is this is this a conversation that we're having? This, yeah, th this is like this is like later, like I, I pulled everybody together again and said, hey, we don't need to talk about the blue coats. Here's my plan going forward. What do you guys think? This is what we should do next. Oh, when I, we tell them yes. I was under the impression that, that Lily was going to come down and try to convince. Okay, I think it would do that first. Too. Why don't we do, we could do like flashback to that conversation, which then influences this conversation. Yeah, I'm down. Will I have to take stress for this? Yep. Well, it's an Eric thing but it's the uh, flashback, you don't right? know this is this is just free play though, but that's a good play. question yeah all right sorry i'm excited yep. <laughs> so excited you're gonna cause me stress <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time you haven't done it to me so <laughs> all right all right flashback <laughs> <laughs> um wait a minute kumar where did you go uh Okay, you know what? It's, this is fine. Fox walks around the entire base, looking in everyone's room just because she's nosy. Oh, oh, Kumar, are you in here? No? Oh, you're not in here. Just really takes a good look around in everyone's stuff because that's she likes that. Looking in the backpack. Kumar? Yeah, <laughs> are you in? Ooh. <laughs> you know, like just like... You pick up Schmooze's watch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always take the watch. Ooh, this is cool. Coomer, where are you? Half. Where? Ooh. Ooh, Coomer. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you don't know I'm touching his shit. Well, I, 
I can smell it. Okay. No, no, no. Like this is so. What all, while I'm doing this, you're all sitting stuff. together in like the top room, and then all of a sudden, Smooth is like, someone's touching yeah, my shit. My, you picked up my watch. The moment you picked it up, I went. <laughs> someone's touching my stuff. I just knew. You immediately knew. Finger. He gets up. <laughs> he just like shoots up. Like someone's touching my stuff. Anyway, yes, puts it back. Uh, Don't you touch my! <laughs> <laughs> Yell at her. She knows. Do it again. <clears throat> my neighbors heard that. I hope they did. Anyway, continue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it goes through everyone's stuff. Coomer, Coomer, Coomer. You know, and then I, then it just like kind of realizes like, oh, I should I should be calling for Hoagie. Starts calling for Hoagie. The pig comes and like. Take me to Coomer. And then I, I straddle the pig and then ride off down what? whatever to, to Coomer. <laughs> One more time? What? Never mind. Keep going. What? <laughs> no. Coomer, where do you want to be? Uh, it's a little good. Don't worry. Coomer is is downstairs. Um, he's oh, I was gonna he's stay tending the to the room. kids. He's, he's <laughs> tending to the kids. Uh, typically when he gets frustrated with something, he does that like that angry mother thing where they don't talk to you. Not that he talks much anyway. Doing dishes. He cleans. He cleans. <laughs> Probably he quite angrily. Little pink ang apron on, like. Oh my god, that's adorable. All right, Ogie brings me downstairs. Uh, I spy him amongst the children. It's not hard to see, Coomer. Uh, still on pig, yells frantically. Coomer. Coomer! Slowly turns his head. Hey, buddy, you wanna you wanna come upstairs for a minute? Sits down at the table, shakes his head. Uh, all right, okay, all right. Pig trollops over to table, still sitting on pig instead of chair. All right. I know. I know this looks super bad. Like, I, I know that. I know that so hard, and this sucks, and I don't, I don't like it, you know? I don't, what, you think I, what, you think I, me, wants to work with the blue coats? That's the last thing I want to do. I know that's the last thing you want to do, but I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of sick and tired of living, living like the bottom of somebody's dirty boot, you know? Like, She just does a lot of hand movement. Yeah, yeah. You gotta talk with your hands. Just, just not even talking. Just hand movements, waiting for Coomer to say something. Coomer's like sorting through some of the kids' toys, anything uh, affects on the table, and um, he realizes that our goal is to inevitably get out and get out alive. And he takes is a it? moment. I mean, that's that's sort of the impression that I was under is that inevitably we want to survive. And Whip has expressed several times that if we stay here, we're not going to survive. That we're, we're going to be caught in this war that's inevitable and that we're going to die. Plus, we're still mostly kids, you know? We're like yeah. late teens, early 20-somethings, so we're kids. Um, Coomer is sorting through the various effects of the kids, and he looks to you for a moment, and he puts up his finger... And he starts sorting like the building blocks, and then he sets up a different block. For Fox says, "Fuck this!" and knocks the blocks on the table. It's so fucking rude. Oh. Let the giant do his thing. You're not even a part of this. I am now. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Don't touch my shit. Grabs the blocks back up, and he takes a yellow block, points to you, puts it on the table, and then one for each of us, pointing to himself, and then upstairs to the others mm -hmm. and then he takes a handful of the blocks and puts them over to the side and he points to them and then he points to all the kids then he grabs all of us the ones that indicate us and he takes them away and puts them in his pocket and then he points back to the kid blocks one about them uh, Pax kind of just like sits back a little like she doesn't really like kids she's a kid she doesn't really like other kids kind of, she just hates kids so she just kind of sits there like oh fuck 
Well, big guy. Wait, are you talking like we're dead or like you talking like we're gone? Like gone, gone or just gone? We leave. Leave. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we, I would I would think that they're a little safer without us here. Right? Nobody bashing into the doors wanting to murder us. No nothing, you know? No casualties, no crossfire. He's used to this runaround that you do where you try to, like, <laughs> weasel your way into yeah. his trust, and you see his, like, frustration is finally mounted, and he just, like, slams down on the table. No! Well, Does everyone hear no? No, oh, yeah, it's like it's it, loud, right? Yeah, okay. You just hear boom. <laughs> it's going, it's going about as well as everyone thought it was. <laughs> okay. So what the fuck do you want to do? What the fuck do you want me to do? I, I can't, we can't take them. How are we gonna take them? I already don't like them. Why not? Because they're gross goo balls. Ugh. Ugh, with their grabby hands. You and too. And they're... Yeah, but I, it's me. What? Do, how are we going to take them? How are we going to take care of them? He reaches into his pocket and grabs out some, like, loose coins change. Coin. You have mine. All of it. Flips table. You're making this so fucking difficult. He leans in and points to his missing tongue. If we can take the kids, do you agree? Fine. Oh, thank you. God. He said it like very begrudgingly. Fox lets out lots of breaths, like just <sighs> kind of mulling over how the fuck she's going to get all these orphans out. And as you're thinking, like sitting there, I can see you pondering. He pushes all of those blocks that he put in his pocket pushes it back to the kids. <sighs> You're he's, fucking he's, idiot. He's, he's <laughs> definitely, like, you, you can't, it's, it's not quite streaming down the face, but his eyes are welling. <sighs> Coomer? It's not just me. I love you. And then Fox kind of just gets up and, like, gives him a really big hug. Like, just... I know how hard this is for Coomer and at the end of all of this fighting and whatever, I just hug him and I get back on the pig and I ride all the way back upstairs. And then that's it. And then we're back into the present where we talk about our plan. Um, yeah. So I guess we've been talking about it and that's all happened. And I kind of, I think as in like when I went to get you Coomer, because I didn't know any of this yet. I kind of just, Saw how you were, and I was like, "Look, we got other shit to deal with." A blue coat thing, like I, I basically just kind of tried my best to do like a quick apology of like, "We can table that. Don't have to make a decision now. We got to move in the next twenty four hours." And then we, and then we have the beginning of the conversation that we had, which now ends, I guess, in me asking you, "Are you on board with this?" We're on board. Ambush plan, Coomer. He shakes his head yes. This is your last chance. Anybody want out? Let's watch everything burn. No words. Other than fuck yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ready. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I guess we spend the next little bit setting up an ambush 
And then I want the, I, the suggestion was I want the score to be the. So, that. so you're going to shoot up Loot's Tavern. Yeah. Yes. Please recall. I just gonna, want gonna, you to be. We're going to, we're going to use Loot's as home base. Let him know everything that's going on. Tell him why it needs to happen. He's extremely against you shooting his goddamn shooting tavern. His goddamn tavern up. <laughs> we will pay him. Like he can keep anything that he finds in their bodies, and they're into a lot of weird shit. We'll sell it for him. Like I, like I will let. Not him. good enough. He's worked so hard to have this tavern. He's not gonna get a shot up. <clears throat> okay. So what would it take? Box. What would it Sorry. take for him for him to? And here's this the is thing. well. Here's the thing: is that like this tavern here, is his kids, here's like the thing. like Tumor's kids. Like you know, there's no way. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We just had the meeting there. I'm not gonna tell Lutz that we're about to okay, do this. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's I'm gonna different. Risk, I'm going to risk that relationship to make yeah. this happen and make it better on the back end because this is the best direct way that I see to get us a giant foothold, even if it costs the relationship yeah. with Lutz. Okay. We, it's easier yeah. to ask forgiveness than permission. So, exactly. yes, exactly. Okay. You also get two rounds with Fox. Fox does not agree to this. <laughs> actually, what does he I look like? I don't know someone who survived. Oh, I actually have a Fox. card. Hold on. I, oh, you have a card? <laughs> yeah, I have, I have Lutz. Uh, one second. Uh, let me find it. I'll, I'll throw it on screen. Um, I yeah. did this. I'm not telling Lutz what, ha what happens. Let me upload it. I'll move back to our map screen. So we Where am I looking? Well. Yeah, I'm uploading it. Just give me one second. I'm going to have to make it. Lutz. Are you, are you, yeah, say. Hey, Lutz. Are you sure? I've heard things about this guy. I hear like it's, I hear it's like a baby's arm holding an apple. Okay. You sure you don't want to. I, I Why think, do you know that? I think oh, I'll sever. You, you learn <laughs> a lot. Oh. Like, it's better, like it's better for us. Houses, you learn a lot of stuff. Okay? Mm, here's, yeah, here's the thing. including their trousers. Here's, here's the thing yeah, is that, like, totally. I don't know. I don't know. And he's like taking this seriously, and you guys are talking about banging Fox, and he's like, wait, what are we, what are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'd get him. Talking about Lutz banging Fox, are we talking about using Lutz's bar? Okay. So you lose, you, you're dead. I think look, okay. shooting the bar, though, is, is if he, look, he's not obviously going to be okay with this. Can we also recall, can we just remember, please, that if anyone dies, this, this whole ghost thing? Yep. Here's the thing. Lutz might not even be there, depending on when yeah. we're there. Yeah. So right. we can lie to him if we have to. All right. Um, I want to also be very explicitly clear. Um, this this is a great plan. This ambush should go tremendously well for you. Um, death will probably be on the table if guns are out, you know? Like you're getting shot, yeah. so like you're not getting hit by a bat. You're gonna get shot, and that has its own, cert, you know, yeah, it's on the table somewhere. So, so let's not guaranteed, right? So we, we my, can my okay. Okay. I know you can you can resist it. You can totally resist getting side. shot in the head and being killed instantly. Yes, you can. My my question is uh, when uh, when a bunch of people get shot and die. Yeah. What does that tip like? Like, there's a whole swarm of people that come in to take the bodies, or uh, if the... Sever wants to know because Depends. he wants to experiment. Yeah, they can't take all the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I I asked because like if we're cool with uh all of that bloodshed, yeah that occurs i mean there's the thing is like there has to be a bunch of bloodshed already it's a gang war you know what i mean yes. so and yeah and we're making right. ourselves look like the victims the, because we're the ones telling the story yeah right the biggest thing then is besides the rings of gunshots the first thing that happens is that the bell rather crematorium across the city starts ringing it's actually right next door isn't it isn't it in charter hall? yeah it's in charter yeah. hall so it's to the south of us i believe no no i'm sorry to the north south east directions yeah. to the east of us and the bellwether crematorium is where the spirit wardens are located and um also there are these spirit seeker crows that get sent out these are crows with skull heads um that that fly out and they know where the bodies are and they they follow them and th the spirit wardens basically pick them up at this point though um it's a little bit early but they're stressed you've seen them for the first time these guys are tier four like them walking around look like you know like emperor elite guards right they're just wearing these bronze masks and they have these long sort of like like almost like electro man catchers uh you know you just these are people you don't want to be around um if if you think that the void gives you the heebie-jeebies these people they are they're the, the creepiest 
Um, in fact, you probably, in fact, you all have had experience with these before as children. Um, anyone who has had any sort of aptitude to the ghost field, mm. they don't last long. Uh, they get caught. The spirit wardens bring them mm. just, just basically they get sent to the spirit wardens and that's all you see of them. So like any, any sort of like whisper that's unfortunate enough gets sold into the spirit wardens. Like anyone with like that kind of stuff or anyone who displays that sort of ability gets sold into the spirit wardens. Like that's very common. Uh, so you've, you've seen these people before, but never in this mass. This is, this is a problem. Yeah. Well, as long as uh, we're out of there, they can deal the, with the cleanup. The, yeah. the only, the alternative to the cleanup um, of bodies safely, especially in the spiritual realm would be the gondoliers. gondoliers. The, gondol- the gondoliers are the sort of the, the folksy witchery type people that um, you could use. The gondoliers are known for dispelling spirits uh, throughout the city. Um, before the spirit, the spirit wardens are a relatively new institution. Um, they've been around since you were born, but before that, it was always just the gondoliers. The gondoliers were the ghost busting faction, but now they are rendered to just being fairy people legally, um, yes. because only the spirit wardens have the in- imperial monopoly on handling of spirits. Ghosts don't come out immediately, though, right? No, no. they come. No, they come out. Uh, depends, uh, but not immediately. So we could just be not there, and we don't care if the wardens show up or not. They're just showing up to dead bodies. Yeah. Right? It's not like and we're going to have to deal with yeah. ghosts that we create. That type of thing. Ghosts do tend to flock back to where they were harmed and who they were harmed. That sort of trauma does linger. Yeah. This is why we would want to exercise them all so that Lutz is okay with his bar again. Yeah. I think we okay. could probably... Use a downtime action to pay the gondoliers that. But yeah, it sounds like Eric over the next 24 hours. Uh, I don't know how you want to do this, but I think the specific goal for the crew is to get the rest of the thugs and everybody rounded up, informed of the plan, and make that ambush as strong as possible. Spend all of our resources, prepare all of the places, hide everybody like really good. Like all of that stuff is like us getting ready for the next 24 hours. Sure. I'm cool with it. Um, so I mean, it doesn't really require anything because this is Blades in the Dark. Yeah. Uh, we just cut to the meeting. I think we can do this tonight. In the engagement roll. We're going we're gonna to do it. And we're going to do the engagement roll. Uh, well, first tell me the plan and tell me your load. Okay. Oh, what page is that on? This is probably an, ass- an ambush plan. So it's probably an assault plan. Or deception. It's on and your we, character sheets as well. We pretend like we are right doing a thing. Maybe it's not. Uh, yeah. So here's the question for everybody. Do we want the roll success to hinge on how much violence we do to them and consequently kill them? Or do we want the plan to hinge on our ability to lie to them to make it think like it's like, okay, we're saying yes, get the guns, check the guns, all that, and then all of a sudden, bang. Do we want the deception to be the thing that we hinge this all on? Because I So one consequence is we get shot back first. The other consequence is they don't trust what we're doing. I feel like getting injured is less preferable to not being trusted like I would prefer to get I prefer to not be trusted than to be shot at because we can always disengage from the plan if they don't trust us we're like okay you know whatever and we can yeah. sort of we get away with not roll over on our backs if we have to yeah because we're playing the long game here right yeah. trust can be earned back bullets eh, less less so Fox, are you uh-huh. okay with that? If I if I give you the signal to like not do the thing, can you not do the thing today and we can do it tomorrow? There's XP if you do the thing. Because if you do the thing, we're all in. And I need you to realize if you do the thing at the wrong time, we're fucked. Yeah, but there's a lot of XP if you do the thing at the wrong time. There is a lot of XP. And we can <laughs> there's also all of the of consequence. Death. But there's also uh, you, know, there's, uh... you know, fancy things, death. Fancy things. Things death. Does Sever have any? Does Sever have any concoctions that can help us out here? 
rage essence. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can use those in the score. I think I think it sounds like we're leaning towards deception as the thing. Yeah. Right and now, I just need to know. Yeah, the plan, the planning, and the load type. That's all. And so then we can just jump right into the engagement role. Deception and the method of deception is that we are going along with the entire thing like normal. And if it gets to a point, there's no opportunity, then we just go along with it. But but really what we're doing the entire time is lying to them, looking for an opportunity to just murder them all as instantly as possible right. with our gang in the room. Yeah. yeah they're they're be, one, and we have like four, three or four extra dudes. I feel like they're going to be a bit sus with all of us walking in the room together as a gang, but I agree. I That's how they, we met last time. They didn't even check the place. We just walked around. That's right true. Up. They didn't give a shit, did they? Okay. Yeah, yeah fuck them. So, so this fuck is... Them. Which makes you wonder what so it this is, is they know. So technically, this is two plans, but they're linked. Mm -hmm. Technically. Uh, it's the deception of luring people in and getting it accepted and everything's approved and you get the guns the way you want it to. And then the assault is actually the killing them. Basically, yeah. That's the way I see it. Sure. Um, so how do we how do we do that? So I mean, we do it just like any other plan. Start start off with the engagement roll. So the engagement roll here. Uh, it's this plan. Particularly, you start with one die just for the luck of it. This plan is bold and daring, so you're getting an additional die, right? Is this operation overly complex and contingent on many factors? Yes. So you're losing a die. This requires your moving your entire gang together. Um, yeah. um, this requires this bar. This bar yeah. Uh, we're not telling loose. I mean, the only factor that it is true, it, the only factor that it uh, hinges on is us just moving our like we pretend to go there for a drink and then our group just stays there for the next eight hours, right? Okay, I'm willing yeah, to say that you have two. Okay, in the I'll, I'll, I recant that. So you are two dice. Does this plan detail? Uh, does the plan's detail expose a vulnerability to the target to hit them or the weakest? No. This is just a, it's just good though for you. Um. Do they have particular defenses or special preparations against this, though? Yes. You're taking minus one die to this. They expect us to betray them? Uh, in a sense, yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight to this operation? You're we not... Could, but we're not telling him. Our gang, yeah. though. Our gang is. But they're not in friends or contacts. Does anybody have any shrewd friends that would, like be able to like know or help us plan an ambush real quick i do yeah you do <laughs> yeah you do <laughs> that's mercy. What costa. mercy a cold killer costa's a bounty hunter can you could you bring mercy and hide her with the rest of our crew why does mercy have to be a woman I don't okay know. mr overwatch you guys like murder lesbians together or something <laughs> 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 Fair cop. All right. I will bring Mercy, the wonderful lady. Okay. So you're back to two dice. And we're and specifically, we're bringing her. Like, she's going to be in the room. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, are there any other elements that you want to consider? Um, they're not a lower, lower to your target. Um, I'm already giving right? you minus one die. Surely... Surely there's like, I, guess it's stupid. I don't know if I can do this or not, but we're in a bar, Loot's, Loot's bar. I'm sure that there's, he's got either, he's going to have weapons stashed somewhere if shit breaks out. Not right. guns. Why don't we plan, wait a minute, why aren't we like setting traps? Can I survey that? Can I yeah. not have a, a, a look for efficiency? Like yeah. I mean, it's again, it's like, it's our home turf. We're setting up this ambush. You should get a plus one die because it is your home turf. That's yeah. for sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's just take. I mean, that's like what four that's dice. Three, three, three dice. Okay, yeah. Let's 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 roll three dice. That sounds real good um, for what we're trying to do. Any loots? The only weapons loots could bring to bear are the same kind of weapons you have. Mm, but like you know, could, we're hoping he's not there when this goes down. Yeah, you pick. Him okay. Oh, uh, you are asking loots to not be there, rather than just not telling him anything and him just experiencing this. We're like, hey, you know, we gotta we gotta meet with those assholes again. Yeah, we don't need you there in case something breaks. Just like in case something breaks out, I don't want you to get. There's a war going on. Yeah, I like you. Don't come to school. Okay, <laughs> hold on. That that requires that we need to pause that. We need to pin this because that's actually important again. Because this this dude, this is his life. His all his savings, his ten stash is in this bar. It's oh, made let's this steal bar. It. No, 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 it's it's, it's the that. building he bought. This is his. Yeah, this is his, his get out plan. 
Yeah. He has never. This is his baby. This is his kids, right? This is his life. He's our, he's our buddy. We're like, we're not gonna do anything. I'm gonna lie to him. We're not gonna do anything. We just don't. Yeah, there. lie to him. Sway to him. him. Sway him. Just sway yeah. him real quick. Sway him real quick. With yeah, like a fortune zero. roll using sway. Right. Yeah, just uh, fortune can use, rolls. Can, can I use consort? Because I'm like, hey, you're. My I friend. mean, you're lying to him, but uh, you're lying to your friend. Uh, I think, sure, just use consort. Okay. Um, that definitely changes the results of what sure. a failure is looks it, like, though. Is it? Uh, what is uh, it? Yeah, you can uh, do that. You, can, uh, you don't have to worry about it. It's roll? just a fortune roll. Just a fortune roll. So I can just push myself kind of... on a fortune roll, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want the stress for it? One. Yep. Taking the two stress. Fuck yeah! I take a got a five. All right. All right. Taking the um, two stress. Sure. Um, the consequence here is that if he if anything happens though when he's not here, you're out of your bar. Bar privileges are off for until I say so. The all of us or just. All of you. No, you don't use oh, my spot at all. Deal. You can resist. Nothing's nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's you can resist happen. until he says so, which would be like yeah. a clock you have to fill in of, of getting happen. back in his graces. I yeah. appreciate it. Okay. okay. Nothing's gonna happen. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that before. Mm-hmm. Listen, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I buy your beer. You You're cleaning this. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is his also, this is his thing, right? Okay. Yeah. I, would I be able to set like if we know that we want to set traps and stuff? What should I do that roll before or after the engagement roll? No, we roll. Uh, you do it after the engagement roll. Okay. okay. Um, cool. This is the decept. This is the decept. Roll, you'll be rolling traps and stuff once we get into the assault part of the plan. So but right now we're doing the deception. Traps traps yeah. Stuff. Right. Yeah. 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 We worry about the effectiveness of the traps when they happen rather than pre priming them. Okay. Um, so that means we do our engagement roll. Right. Three dice engagement roll deceiving them. You're luring the dude. void in. T- yeah. three. Who, so one of you gets to do it. Three dice. Is it on the, where, where is it on the crew sheet? I always forget. It's just a fortune roll or engagement roll. You can roll from your crew sheet. You can roll it from your character sheet. You can roll it from any any sheet, really. I think you did pretty well on that last one. I just need I just need three dice. I trust in you. I can I do trust it. In you. Yeah, I got fortune a lot is rolling on this engagement roll, though. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. A lot, is, a, lot, a lot is on this, this roll. Oof. A six. You got a six. It happens just Fucking as you say it is. Bless Kuma. Yeah, Kuma. Jesus. Oh my god. I was so nervous about that. I didn't I saw you rolled and I wasn't ready. Ooh. <laughs> Bob says no fear. None. <laughs> oh god. All right. Let's go. Like really, a yeah, freaking so god. Sad. Okay. Um right. So this is this is the exchanging that happens, right? Um there's nothing else for this part other than um you know, you you sign over the I guess yeah okay so let's let me let me actually break this down. Uh, they come back, they unfurl uh, what looks to be like a, a big old contract, uh, written in clearly some sort of like arcane binding type contracts. Uh, I don't think you've seen these before. Is it in Hadrathi or is it in Akarus? Um, no, this was this is obviously this is Imperial. Uh, okay. The crows it's absolutely not, not operate no, in. No, it is. <sighs> Um, this is similar to uh, what you have as an ability of a ghost contract. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, when you when you shake on a deal, you and your partner, whoever signs this contract, if you betray or break the contract, you suffer three harm as a, as a curse. Okay. So I, I would think that that's 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 where we're at right now. Is that gets unfurled? They're like that. You know, we knew you would. Um, the, okay, so specifically what they tell you or what they say is mm-hmm. the throne of the throne of judgment has seen your signatures on this page. Uh, I tell them, I appreciate that, and we're going to sign this right quick. I need to see and inspect those guns to make sure you're not trying to pull a fast one on us, and then we'll sign whatever the fuck you want. I just don't care. Yeah. Like, I'm just very flippant sure. about it, but, like, I need to see. Um, they, gave, they gave you the guns, but they def- okay, they'll give you the guns, but no bullets. Right? But inspect them. Can we can can we flash back to like bringing bullets of our own? Sure, like, um, but the these last 24 hours to like sure find but some shots to give you to give you an idea of these pistols though. These are like matchlock pistols. Yeah, like muzzle loaded. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like they're going to take time to load. Cool. Um, to give you everyone a technological technological level of what I'm thinking of right now is that militarily speaking, the Imperial military operates at maybe like a World War One level of of guns. So like. You know, a you know, uh, machine gun is possible. Submachine guns are possible. Most people, like most militaries, would have a a bolt action style rifle. Um, the best guns that 
criminals would have would be like a shotgun, right? Or yeah. a hand or like a revolver. Um, and then there's just like matchlocks and shit guns, you know, just like arquebus level, you know, just like the worst things of guns uh, that you can just think of that are just, you know, you're you're better off. Uh, they you know they they miss and they swerve and you know there's yeah. no there's nothing to them, right? They're just hand cannons. So check this out. I'm like, you know, we check him. I say thank you. I said if you don't mind, I'm gonna make sure that I read this contract. Coomer, would you do me a favor and would you take these guns behind the bar to make sure that nothing accidentally happens to him while we're reading this over and signing it? what I want him to do is take it behind the bar where our dudes are hiding and then make a big deal about like making sure every line and like, Oh, I want to ask a question about this thing. What does this mean when I sign this? And like, yeah, do, totally. Do lie to them. Yeah. Lie to their face. <laughs> and what Coomer does is he puts it behind the bar and our stooges are back there loading the guns. I'm just buying them time to pop out and just murder everyone right, right before we sign it. Sure. So before that, any of that happens, um, cause this is, a, this is an interesting part. You need to make a roll. You need to make a roll for them to hand over the guns before anything is signed. Okay. Um, I like where this is going. Kuma, it is, a, it is, it is great. Well, this is good. Cause I can imagine everyone just popping out and doing this. It's going to be like, Kuma, you did so well in that role. <laughs> you can you set your, nice. um, the same mechanics play now as they did before. Right. Um, you can set yourself up. Uh, the position of this is obviously, uh, no, actually, this is probably, let's start at control and let's start at uh, no effect. So they, do they protest when I tell him to do that? And I'm like, yeah, okay, they're like, so, nobody, so I command, I, I no one touches command, the guns. And I'm like, hey, no one touches the guns until this is so, is, until this is signed. You're going to, you're going to let him take those behind the bar. Right. Otherwise this goes nowhere. So this is like, I'm this, commanding them to let, like, this is what's going to happen. Right. Okay. Um, Controlled zero effect. Yeah, Sever is going to say uh, that I have the ability to inspect the guns to ensure that they work. So, like, basically, he's just trying to like position himself to like inspect the guns one by one and make sure that they all work. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you're there. There's a big old bag of guns. Uh, right. This is basically your armory of guns. So when you have a sheet, when you said you have a pistol or something like that, this is where they're coming mm -hmm. from. Is this bag mm -hmm. of guns, mm -hmm. right? Um, I assume Coomer's assisting me on this because of, like, a he, I'm getting him involved. Probably heavy, yeah. so right. Have it, so right now we're waiting for the roll. Of, so you told them um, we want to inspect all the guns. Sever, take this behind the bar, inspect them, and they're like, nobody's touching any guns until you sign this. And so you said it's controlled Science. zero effect. So I need yes. someone to assist me to give me effect. Yes. So you, you need something to help give you effect right now. You either need to use items. You need to use items. You need to get a setup action. You need to do something else that gives you any effect at all at this point. Oh, I've got it. I have a concealed palm pistol as one of my items. It's probably really shitty, probably to the quality that we have, but I have that. <clears throat> uh, Sure, for three stress. Deal. Deal. Ooh, deal. Okay. Um, what, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very carefully put my hands up and I'm gonna like show it like that they can obviously see it's a gun. And I said, if you're worried about us having guns, we already have them. So we're cool. Yeah. So like you're not actually like we're we're not trying to pull anything because we already like I'm bluffing that we already have the guns. Yeah. 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 No. I I love it. Right. Um. Yeah. Give yourself. So this is. Uh, controlled limited. And then if you want to make, I mean, you can always exchange position for effect. Um, no, because I'm a controlled success on a four or five. I get to, I take another tactic. So yeah. I would rather have the limited though. And if I, if I succeed, I still basically get them behind the bar, right? Like what's the consequence of limited versus standard here? Um, some other clocks will be ticked. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> all in. Yeah, um, all in. You can always ask for a devil's bargain. I'm already gonna push myself. You're already, he's he's already we taking was it three three stress already? Taking three. Already, unless somebody wants to. You're taking. Me. You've already taken some stress, um, and the guns have not even shot yet. Yeah. I'm trying to make this ambush a one and done. I'll burn all the stress ahead of time so that we can. For the record, them. everybody, uh, right now, whip. Is at seven of nine stress. I'll help him. I want this one and done. 
Yeah, I'll okay. the boy. Can I just yeah, act like, confidently as well? I just I just want to walk over and like with confidence grab the bag and move behind. Gun the bar. shots do cause stress. <laughs> Resisting does. Um <clears throat> Requires okay, so let's see what this role is. I'm controlled limited with a bone with a with uh with at least one. And I'm is somebody myself. helping you, yeah. I'm oh, helping, yeah. I'm pushing myself. So one stress to to schmooze, and then yep. you get one die. And so I'm at, I'm at an eight of nine because I was I had already started clicking the one for pushing myself when you said I was at seven. Okay, I'm at two stress now. So I'm at I'm at eight of nine stress right now. What would happen if Sever were to imply that just on site, like they can maybe see the guns in the bag, like op- the ba- the open bag, be like they don't exactly look like he's just trying to imply that those <laughs> guns aren't actually good guns. Yeah. So controlled limited two bonus dice, and like as that's all going on, you're pointing it out. Maybe going with uh, Coomer. The crows right, keep the best guns for themselves. You get what is left over. Here we go. We can spare. Crit. Ooh. There you go. Cool. It's a crit. Uh, Dude, yes. So, big sigh of relief. It's, um, so it works, but you still need to change your tactics. Um, they show you the guns. They, they're like, fine. Here's <clears throat> here's all the guns. And there are a bunch of match locks, um, a little like isn't, hand isn't cannons. Having, isn't changing tactics on a four or five, but control limited is six. Is a crit is still a crit. Oh, you, I, I could exchange it for a grit. Yeah. Um, so, expect, yeah. I mean, for a crit, I'll give you. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Standard effect then, as as greater effect. I think. Thank God. Thank okay. You. Yeah. So it works then. It works as for the with the crit, you get it. Um, they're like fine. Here. Dismiss. Hand over the bag, and he's like, "Are you are you sure, Frost?" So, yes. It's been seen. And they hand over the bag, but it's been seen. Good. Now, prepare to sign. So I get schmoozed over and sever and Lily. I'm like, okay, hold on. We got to read this. And we're doing the thing where we're like reading it. And I'm like, okay, when it says that you have like unequivocal rights to anything that we find on the, you know, like just do all this stuff. I'm like, what does that mean? You know, and, and keeping that conversation going while Coomer is dropping the bag off behind the bar and our dudes are loading the guns. Yeah. The deception plan is over. Now it's the assault plan. And now we're going to see them pop, like right before I like pick up the thing and sign, that's like their so, cue to jump out and do the thing. Okay. So the question here is, sorry, go ahead. No, keep going. Oh, no. Is... Keeping them busy. You know, like this part here where it says unequivocal rights and ownership to my soul. Is that, is that, do you mean like my actual soul? Do you mean like any soul of people? Like how does this mean? We're just talking. We're, we're chatting yeah. this out. Uh, and, and while we're loading the guns in the back, I just want to double check and make sure that they're all actually working you know what i mean like i want to make yeah. sure that we have everything do, I, do um, you want me to make a roll for that or is it just like or we just want to say it's like this given? will be part of the engagement roll um okay but here's something here's something to consider um so the entire void is not here right just their emissaries are here yeah mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. but the heads of the void are here right That's like the most the, the most important powerful people are here yeah. for sure yep. right mm-hmm Right before um, we do the engagement roll for the assault plan, I kind of nudge Fox as we're like signing the thing elbow to elbow, and I just give her a wink. All right, I'm like, not gonna lie, I've had this like really weird thing in my head where you guys are signing it, and then I'm like, and then I pull out my knife, and then that's, that's what's about to happen. Oh so that, that's, yes, the wink, the wink oh, is like, really really like... shit's about to yeah. go off. Oh yeah. All right, so let's do the next. Uh, we're linking the assault <laughs> plan here. Okay. So you start with one die. It's, it's another engagement roll. You start with one die, right? Um, this operation is bold and daring. Yes, right? So you're two dice here. Um, does this plan expose a vulnerability to the target? No. Um, is this target strongest against this approach? Yes. Just like last time. So back to two dice. Um, can your contacts provide any aid or insight to this operation? Mercy's yes. here in the back. Yeah, Mercy's here. Um, are enemies and rivals interfering in this operation? Not yet, so that doesn't count. So you still have three dice. Are there any elements to consider? Um, I'm turf, I would right? say you I have plus one, one die because it's basically your hunting grounds and you're here, but the problem is that they're also higher tier, so that negates each Minus other, one. so it's three. So anyways, it started blasting. Are we going to go, <laughs> go full Coomer? Who's going to roll it? 
What am I rolling? Not me. <laughs> another well, another roll with three dice. Yeah, we're 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 calculating the amount of dice in the in this engagement roll. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So it's fortune. Yeah. So this is this is whatever you had to load the guns because it's not exactly like eat bullets are really easy to get. Okay. You All might right. have been able to get a couple like shot bullets that you yeah. went out and scavenged from a fight. You know what I mean? Sure. And like did what you could. But um, yeah. So three dice. Three dice. And there's no way we can starts. improve those standards. I'm so fucking. No, right we now. just we just did it. Okay. All right. So yeah, the problem is that these people are kind of like fortune tellers. Yikes, dog. So that's a three. Yep. Um, which is the worst possible thing that can happen. Um, I mean, if I roll three so ones, then, I feel like that would be infinitely worse. <laughs> so this is where it happens. Um, so for starters, uh, so you finish loading the guns and you go to fire. Um, some of your guns will misfire. Of course. Um, we can't resist the consequences of the engagement roll, can we? Yes, you can. You can resist the consequences. This is where we're starting from the story, okay. from the fiction. Um, they all kind of look at each other when this is happening and here, okay. And so multiple things happen at once. It's like they knew this was going to happen. Uh, right. No. When they say it's okay. This was seen. Um, oh, this is no. what I meant. Uh, so when you go to shoot them, so we can resist this, right? Totally. They all they all put their hands out, and your little like bits of metal nails and BBs and bullets that are all misshapen just hit a shield of air. The other bullets that hit the three of you that are near them, so each of you is going to take level three harm getting shot. Uh, by, by basically like a shotgun blast of just random debris um, being in the way. And then all of you are going to take level one harm on top of this for being exposed, being close to a ghost field. And that kills us. Spell. Okay. Oh no, it's additive. You don't have a No, space it's not additive. Them. So those are all, if you don't have the slots, then yes, then and, that's what happens. So really, so okay. you're taking three separate levels of harm. Can we resist? And you're, you're, yes, you can. Uh, which ones do you want to resist? Do you want to resist your shots not being affected by the shield? Do you want to res resist any of those harms that you took? All of them? Uh, there are four things at the table here at the start of the fortune roll. Well, there's five players. <laughs> I, I want to specifically resist the bullets not hitting them at the sacrifice of my own self. Uh, how much stress is you on there, buddy? Um, this is schmooze. This is so everyone who's getting hurt. So not everybody here. Um, Sever, you are. I imagine you and Kumar are behind the count. We're behind the yeah. counter, mm -hmm. right? So you two do not take the three harm getting shotgun blasted. Right. The other uh, three they do. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It's like basically uh, just straight cross fired shots. Like that's what happens when that's twelve people shoot random BB shotgun stuff from shitty ass guns at point blank range. Right. Like this is this is just gonna happen. Um, things ricochet, uh, you know, it's bad. Um, and then immediately there's this, this blue shimmering shield of electricity, basically, of air that just hits you and it feels like it's frost. Um, and this is encountering a ghost effect of a whisper of a tuning, um, which you have never seen before. Or if you have, it creeps you out like you would a ghost. Um yeah, it's very, but in a minor, so it's what the tier so one is. Me, so me, Fox, and a lot of problems take damage, and Coomer and Sever, yeah. okay, because they're behind the bar. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna resist the them putting up the shield. I'm gonna like make an opening, but I'm still gonna take the. I get fucked up. Yeah, I I want to uh, resist the bullets not doing anything, like at all. I mean, yeah. I. I, I feel like maybe I could help do that too because there's five of us okay we need we need this to work yeah yeah I mean sever would have again he was checking all the guns he would have made sure that like everything is functioning properly right and he would have maybe slipped this in is fun gunpowder etc these are proper functioning guns can I use insight to resist this and like I see this coming and I'm making a decision as it's all going off sure what does that look like, like that what's your so I'm like I guess getting in close on one of them. So you touch them. Put the shield up. No, I want to create it. I want to find they're a way. Very, to they don't like being touched. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, we're gonna kill them anyway. So yeah, I'll touch one. 
Um, I'm gonna. Right. What I want to do is as the, what resisting. Looks That's like what breaks the me. shield wall. Like the, yeah, this I, I like ghost phalanx. I he's <laughs> open, and I also take what level three and level one harm. Yeah. And then uh, but I, I was writing it all down. Yeah. But was it level I three? Resist. I thought you said it was a level two. <clears throat> no. Oh, gotcha. um, damn. I was writing it all down. Um, <clears throat> for some reason, in my I see, I just forget what I just said earlier. Why there was level two? Because I wrote down three of the consequences. I just don't remember what the fourth one was. So guns do no damage because they hit the shield. Um, people in front of the shield, you all take level three harm blasted, and then everyone it's, who's not a void takes level one harm from the ghost field. Gotcha. And I just yell like Fox, get him, <laughs> and then I roll bonus dice insight. I take one stress. You take one stress. Um, my track is full now. Is it so? Your guns will do some harm. So one of them, so yeah, a couple of them will get hit by stray shots, but they're going to be alive. It's just like you get hit in like the shoulder and stuff. Uh, question for you, Eric, is this mm -hmm. when I would take the additional stress or it's when the track is full? Um, it's when you take the additional stress after the track is full. Okay. So my track is full I enough. Think. I take Wait, stress no, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, no, that's Band of Blades. Band of uh, Blades in the Dark is when it's full. Okay. I, tra I trauma out. I'm done. That makes sense. So you get hit and you get trauma out. I'm done. I'm out of the rest of the fight, and I the last thing I yell is "Fox, get him!" Ooh. This is completely in your guys' hands now. And I'm there's down. like, there's like a sh like a sharp, sharp shock as like there's a flash as as he like breaks this phalanx as he touches them, uh, and then he's like gone for a minute. Like he's like they're on the ground or just, just you know there's kind of just smoke in the air from the guns and and the the debris of this magical spell right so now everything's like this dark blue and and dark gray like smoke in here there's just shots there's moaning um let's talk about resisting right okay. everyone else uh revenge for whip yeah this... yeah um yeah i want to resist i want the i want the bully i want the bullets to go through this is, it, it all really hinges on that. Yeah. I'll take the harm if it means the bullets go. You through. couldn't have. You, you couldn't have just rolled a four on a fortune roll. I tried, okay. but <laughs> our Jesus didn't just have that plan for us, man. Okay, well, the four would have done it. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah. So, anyone in front of the shield, you're taking level three harm. You can just take that harm. Um, if you want to resist it, tell me how you resist it. You can swap armor for for load, so you can drop it down, right? Um, tell me how you resist this ghostly level one harm of spooked, which we've seen before. I don't think I can. The other roll took all the luck. <laughs> so yeah. Chad says. Um, we did actually have a lot of luck here. Like we really needed yeah. really solid rolls. Although four, really, but whatever. Um, right. Yeah, I just want to resist the, the bullet going through. I can't really resist the harm. There's no conceivable way that I can resist that. It's just happening. It's coming at me. Okay. Right. So. Um, yeah, I mean that makes sense to me. Uh, Whip has started to has lowered the resistance from guns do no damage to guns do some damage. Um, did you want to resist that further? Yes. In that way, so they do more of an effect. Yeah, I like that. But you, okay. but you're not going to resist kill. you taking harm. Sorry, what was that? Uh, what Sorry. was that? Whip? No, I, you're I, not. I, yeah, so you're not. So the guns will do no damage. Is has already change to guns will do some damage would you like to resist it so the guns will do their full effect to the void yeah yeah the void. I, want that. I want full effect okay yeah all right so yeah. then how tell me tell me how you you do that yeah that's the problem that's where i'm stuck um, you, could, you just come with me like you jump in with me as i'm yelling fox get him and you're like yeah helping helping take him right. down as well um, yeah, actually, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, I jump in. I jump in, and my hands have been all up in places, right? People's yeah, like right. Uh, in them. I got nasty fingers. Sounds weird. It's like a fox thing. I got nasty fingers. Okay, I want to touch these men. That's don't clip that. I know, get, but okay, imagine. I'm, yeah, I get you. Yeah, you get. Me. But like, imagine, imagine like four people in a row are like doing like this like fit like weird gesture with their hand, and it created that shield thing, right? But as soon as he you saw um, whip touch one. Right, it 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 dis it breaks it in an instant. Right, I I want to leap in there and just start touching all of them because I've noticed obviously by touching yeah. people, by touching them it breaks their concentration, it breaks their flow, yeah. the shield goes down, bullets go through. Happy yeah. Day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can I? Yeah, I'll do that. 
bunch of that. Cool. Uh, so you're resisting prowess, right? Or insight, because you're quick thinking, like quick uh, reflexes, quick or is this just powering through with no, physically? No, pretty quick thinking. Yeah, inside will do okay. it. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, that makes sense. Uh, the plus one die from your crew. That's true. Cool, it's always the plus one, yeah. Apologies. Now, I'm going to stop reminding us that, but that's always the yeah. regular straight. Cool, uh, so, cool. Um, yep. So the guns will be doing full effect, but you are going to take two stress. Fine. Take it. Um, in addition to taking um, level three harm and level one harm. Zephyr's going to have his hands full tonight. Woo! Lily, kill arms. everyone. Um, Lily. Hi. You are also taking level three harm and level one harm. Would you like to resist this? Yes. Yeah, you cool. can't. Can't count. Tell me how we're out of the fight. So, be good. Um, tell me how you resist. Uh, by ducking underneath the table. Sure. Uh, that would be like resisting with insight, with quick oh, thinking. Fuck. Or would you rather just say I just take it and resist with prowess? I have oh. more in prowess than I have in anything else. Wanna, yeah. And you probably gonna, yeah. All right, let's do prowess. Mm -hmm. No bonus dice. One bonus die. Oh. One bonus die. For every you always get, yeah. Always Resistances good. always give you one. Okay. Okay, so you still take two stress from it all. Okay. But it does lower the harm from three to two. Okay. Now, did you want to spend armor to lower that even further? But that mm -hmm. reduces the number of items that you have. Uh, No, I'm fine. Okay, so you're going to take level two harm, which means every roll that you do that requires physical stuff will suffer minus one die. Oh, no, I don't want that. All right, so armor I can is. only heal so many people in downtime. Armor it is. <laughs> okay. Um, Speaking of which, make sure everybody marks your I, load. And, yeah. And just if you hadn't. If you hadn't already. Mom, I'm looking for that, actually. Is there anywhere? Yeah. It's at the top. Uh, it's like right under the character type. Yeah, right load, under three, five, and six. Yes. Um, so Next heavy armor inside. requires three, three ticks. If you wanted, if you want to spend heavy armor, then you will take no harm from this as your armor just eats it. Oh yeah. What about, close. what about mercy? Uh, mercy is or also not, taking is it, no shale. My bad. Not mercy. Shale. No oh, mercy. It's a mercy. Is no, it? it's mercy. Uh, oh, it's okay. mercy. Shale, shale <laughs> is part of the uh, group coming in after you all. Gotcha. Can you chalet. <laughs> chalet. <laughs> So much more okay. menacing. So right now you're taking level two harm and level one harm. Um, yeah. You've resisted the level three to level two, and we haven't talked about the other one. So do you? Right now you have a load of five. Do you want to spend three of your five load right now to have heavy armor? Just yes. Declare you have heavy armor, and then you take no harm. Yes. Okay. So you take no harm from you reduce level two to level one, and then level one to zero because heavy armor lets you reduce armor twice or harm twice. Okay. Now you're taking only the level one harm to deal with. Right. So you you just took level three harm and you reduced it taking no harm. Okay. Now yes. the only thing left is the level one harm, the last consequence here of being near the ghost field. You can resist resist this with prowess, you could also also resist it with resolve. Um this is kind of just being kind of shaken by uh being Okay, then let's do prowess. Accosted by the ghost field. Yeah. This is yeah. just you being angry and not caring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? So oh. You, uh you'll take one more stress. Okay. And you take no harm. Perfect. Okay. See, um, welcome to Blades in the Dark, where you things sound super terrible, and all of a sudden you're like, "No, I got these things. Like, I can, oh. I can, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And let's let's fucking go." Um. So, do I get to attack now? Like yes. after? Okay, perfect. Because one of my special abilities is not to be trifled with, where I can push yeah. myself to do one super awesome, super powered like thing. Yeah. <gasps> Count as a small gang. Yeah. I'm gonna ping so, that. Yeah, so the you're a one. You're it. a one-man wrecking crew. I'm gonna ping that yeah. so chat can see. But it. I immediately like after after Whip says get him, immediately like it snaps and Fox jumps over the table and immediately starts attacking jugulars. Yeah. What music is playing? Oh. Oh, oh don't ask me this because I'm gonna pick a pick a meme song and it's not no, gonna be. What's stop. All right. My, you were thinking my neck and my back are a little bit. Yes, it is. How did you know? <laughs> Ball, it's definitely oh, ballroom blitz. blitz. Ballroom blitz. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. Right. So then we just see you like fucking artfully just bashing skulls through the smoke and the mist and the, the shattering like, of things. Right. I want it to be classical so, music, like very slow yeah. motion. Like yeah, right. <laughs> I'm 
I'm in. I'm into it. All right. Uh, is anybody helping you? Um, this is going to be risky standard. Well, so Whip's dead, not dead, uh, alive, dead. but out and cold. Uh, Gee, Smooze, what are you doing? I, I touched him. <laughs> yeah. Sever could totally help. Um, well, yeah, because wouldn't at this point, wouldn't you guys have heard the guns and like? <laughs> yeah, they were the shit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right? like, I'm just like, where are right? they? <laughs> yeah, there would have been a trap triggered for sure on my side. Yeah. It's also, it's not like none of you have a lot of ex- practice shooting guns. No. So it's not like, like you, point, yeah. Point can blank. I just do this by myself? I'm like pretty proud you of can. it. You can. Yes, you can. I do this by myself. Go for it. Yeah. Risky, risky standard. Definitely push yourself and uh, resist the consequence though, probably. Uh, which button do I press? I'm sorry. So you have to push yourself. So you're going to take two stress. Okay. Um, push. That's what pushing yourself self does. But uh-huh. yes, you can. You count as a small gang in close combat. So this is risky standard. No, I mean, like, how do I? Is she rolling? Is she rolling? Yeah. Skirmish? Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, this is skirmish for sure. Okay. Sorry, I just didn't know. So risk. Yeah, I'm sorry. I should have said that. Yeah, you're absolutely standard. right. I was too busy reading uh, not to be trifled with and how cool it is. Sorry. It's pretty dumb. Yeah, it's skirmish. Risky standard. And you it just risk. critic. Crit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. So. Whoa. Yeah, um, they're down, obviously, in uh, and like literally just it's the smoke clearing with your hands like down with like your fucking bloody knives and fists. Just you're just covered in their in the void's blood, and like you just like have that like that look off your like profile look from your back, right? And uh, yeah, that's it. She's there's she's like straight blood. Up. I like rip out jugulars. There's like blood in my mouth. I'm just yeah. like describe she's, it. She's the woman from from the yeah. boys. If you've seen the boys, she's yeah. she's the woman. Yeah, I'm or like so su- like at the end of the fire serenity, <laughs> like like pretty much right. Just yeah. just a full barbarian mode. Yep. Yeah, yeah, You're... bashing skulls in, just ripping off skin, jugulars like right out. Um, yeah, damage. I don't even know how to explain it. Super aroused at this point. Yeah, and I'm, and yeah. when everyone's like, so there's smoke and there's everything, and then obviously Sever and um, Coomer come in, and it's just me like eating people, just continuously like eat, like shoving organs in my mouth, like just eating. Well, that's disgusting, but yes. So that's the um, yeah, that's probably our wrap today. <laughs> The end of the this this ambush. <laughs> nice. Oh damn! I can't no. take this. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's. I can't believe you crit. That was, insane. That was oh great. Oh my god! That is insane. So much. That is so good. Oh my that's god! That's way better than taking lethal harm. Yeah. Um, oh my god! You would also, yeah. Um, I mean, this it's the score is over. Like you won the ambush. Um, so you basically decapitated the void. Yeah, get wrecked, um, boy. And, and you're eating their brain. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sever's yeah. totally like Welcome. hacking for parts <laughs> game. that he can like <laughs> oh my God. put into Isn't, jars. Wasn't that tense? Yes. Holy shit. I didn't yeah. think, I literally didn't think I was going to get a good roll. I was like, this is going to You know what? I'm fucking glad that I rolled a three because that <laughs> would not have gone that well without a fucking three. I, I imagined <laughs> that entire thing in slow motion, like just happening just like Guy Ritchie style, just thing yeah. after thing after thing, just and then just ending with slow motion graphic violence. She was full hardcore, yeah. Henry. Oh my god, it was very yeah. I you just murder. Fox is the best. The in the background, and you're just murdering people. It was great. In- <laughs> oh well, just down with the crit. That was great. Down with the critness. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Oh, uh, so that's Blades in the Dark tonight. Perfect. Whoa. Perfect. <sighs> Let's tackle all the uh, the post wrap up stuff. Um, yeah. Next session, if we can, if that's feasible. Is, is everybody okay with that? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Like the, right. you mean in game, like the heat and all that stuff. Yeah, we're doing all the downtime, everything after. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll do all that stuff next session. That's fine. That mark, <sighs> I like I'm missing a box. Uh, it's on the left. Yeah, it's under your stress where it says harm. You actually have to write it in. Yeah. Yeah. It was one harm. It was two harm. One harm. Yeah, you took a level three harm and a level one harm. 
Yeah, you got shot in the back by your own guys. <laughs> yeah, you got hit in the sh yeah, you're <laughs> bleeding out. Yeah, Homer and I didn't no. take any harm, right? Nothing. Did no. We take uh, no, we you took level one. Harm. one yeah. Uh, yeah, we got, what was that called? Uh, we got spooked. 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 Yeah. Okay. You you encountered a ghost field occurrence. Yep. Uh, so I know so I said the ball. That's, really that's going to happen every time. Like whenever anyone does anything with the ghost field, um, like unless unless you have something that you train for that, it's always going to be disturbing to you. Yeah. It's, it's a level three and a level one, you said. Yeah, the level one you'll put spooked, and level three yeah. you'll put uh, like shotgun blast. Yeah, blasted. This is what I wrote. Eric, Eric yeah. do you want me to do you want me to so take a trauma condition now and let people know what it is, or do we want to just have it come into play later? Um, I took a trauma. We can talk about it after. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, if you if you already have oh, then tell us if you already know what it is, uh, okay. or if you want to save it, that's fine too. Save it, save it. Let's okay, uh, let's wait people we'll talk about the, later to the next right, show. Yep. Yeah. All right, I guys. Know we're already a little bit over. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get our details out so you guys know where to find us. So let's uh, go ahead and start with uh, with Schmooze Geef. What are you doing these days, man? Where can we find you? Uh, literally down below. You've got eyeballs. It's right there. But yeah, indeed, <laughs> that's where I am. I play everything except Fortnite because I'd rather die. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh like, is it Minecraft? Is it a shooter? What is it? I don't want to shoot people and turn into a car a car park. Okay, that's what happens. So yeah, that's, that's what I do. Uh, six fair. days a week, today included, actually. So you know, hashtag little plug. <laughs> right. But yeah, and that's that's my thing. Cool, now you know. Dope. All right. Next, we're gonna hit Fox. I live in LA. What are you doing? Where can we find you these days? Hi. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Lily Vanilli. It's going to be in the chat. Just click on the link. Do the little heart. I would really appreciate it. And I'm building my Lego Harry Potter castle tomorrow, which is like right in the back. It's that big thing. We're I'm starting jealous. it tomorrow and I'm really excited. But yeah, just like weird garbage. That's my whole shtick. So I look forward <laughs> to seeing you. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. We'll, uh, we'll hit our storyteller, Eric. Tell us about you, buddy. Where can we find you? Yeah, everybody. Great session. I'm Eric. I'm Eric Vulgaris everywhere. You can follow me, Eric Vulgaris, Twitter, talk about games and stuff all the time. And right now I'm running some other campaigns on my own channel, uh, as well as being a player in some other D&D games. But uh, check out my Pendragon game if you want to see me play and run Medieval Knight stuff. I cannot stop talking about it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. We have Sever, aka Oscor. What are you doing? Where can we find you these days, bud? Hey everybody, I'm Oz. You can find me on Twitter at Ozcore, O-Z-Z-K-O-R-E. And you can also, uh, we uh, we have a Twitch channel, Shadowcasters Network. That's where we do a whole bunch of uh, RPG actual play stuff. Um, especially you want to follow our YouTube, Shadowcasters Network, because that is where you can find all those VODs. And we're playing lots of cool stuff, including right now, Leverage. Mm -hmm. which we're doing with bub that's cool it's based on the tv show and we're also uh currently doing actually tonight we were doing uh rural punk which is another forged in the dark system uh that is also super cool cyberpunk set in farmlands so yeah we got lots of cool stuff go check that out dope we've got panic control panic what are you doing where can we find you these days Hey, hi, I'm uh, Panic Control. You can find me at Panic Control on Twitch and on Twitter. You also might know me as Riot Polybius. Um, I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday at 10 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, we're going through a bunch of stuff right now, but today uh, I'm going to be playing Legends of Runeterra, which is the free-to-play card game that Riot Games just released, which I helped work on for the last six months of my life. Today has been, today has been a fucking day, let me tell you. Uh, I yeah, honestly congrats. like this. This got me more worked up though than than that did. Like I, I <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need to recover after this session. You guys are fucking crazy. Um, but yeah, come hang out. Perfect. And then there's myself, guys. I'm Bub. If you've found your way here through raids, through hosts, or what have you, I do a lot of tabletop stuff. I always start my stream.